What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today I bring you a guide on how to complete the mysterious data pad which rewards you a secret emblem as well as changes the appearance of Ada 1. But before we go any further guys, if you do enjoy the video and would like to show your support you can by hitting that like button and if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so the data pad which you get alongside the unidentified frame, the unidentified frame leads to the Izanagi's burden. For this step, you need to actually have a rare bounty from the forge to carry on with the Izanagi's burden. For the mysterious data pad, you also need the Izanagi's burden sniper rifle. But if you have a friend that has it, you don't. You can do this data pad uh, quest with a pal if they do have that exotic sniper and I'll explain that when we get to it. Okay, so for this step, for the mysterious data pad, you need to have certain gear including full forge armor. You also need to have the forge bow, the forge sniper and the forge heavy machine gun. Again, like I said, you also need to have the exotic Izanagi's burden or have a friend willing to help you out who has this weapon. So once you have what's needed, you need to head to the Niobe labs on the EDZ. Inside the labs, go and locate the secret lever underneath this platform. Pull this lever to start this mission. Now once this mission starts, you have to shoot certain symbols in a particular order with the certain forge weapons I said you needed, the bow sniper and machine gun, so make sure you have them equipped. So firstly, you shoot the missive or paper with the bow. Then you have to shoot the storm with the machine gun. Then you have to, using the sniper, shoot the pagoda. Then using the bow again, shoot the sunrise upon the floor to your right. Now for these symbols, you don't have to be standing in any particular spot. So once you are done here, the next step is to jump up onto this platform and shoot the star using the machine gun and then shoot the hand using the machine gun. Both can be seen from this position I use. Once you have shot these, you then have to jump down and shoot this black armor symbol on the ceiling with the sniper rifle. Now once you have done that guys, the next step will start. Here you can change your weapons if you want to, but you must be using or have a friend using the Izanagi's Burden Sniper Rifle, as the sniper is used to take down the Taken boss's shields using the Izanagi's Burden's exotic intrinsic perk, the Horned Edge Shot. Once shields are down, you can do damage with every weapon. This goes on for about 3 rotations between each boss, it's a taken blight which you have to take out. So once you are done here guys, a crate will spawn in and you go and collect the continuation to this quest. For this next step you have to complete all four forges using full forge armor and using full forge weapons. Not difficult at all but that is all four forges that be the Volandor Forge, the Gorfanon Forge, the Izanami Forge and the Bugusia Forge. So once you have done these forges using full weapons and full forge armor, return to Ada 1. Now if you do not want to be spoiled people, I suggest you leave the video now. If you ain't fussed, sit back and watch. For this you get a pretty cool emblem and a triumph too, so enjoy guys. And on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, like guides, top 5s, gameplays, reviews, just about everything, make sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But again guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.
Is that... Touch our wares, Guardian. They are only there for the pleasure of the eye. 